In your morning medical news, it continues to be a challenging public health issue. Obesity can lead to severe health problems like heart disease and diabetes. And a new CDC report shows the number of kids and teens with obesity has risen sharply over the past two decades. Mandy Gaither has a look at the data and explains how parents can help their children's health. It's a major health concern that continues to worsen. In 2000, nearly 14% of young people ages 2 through 19 had obesity. As of 2023, it's jumped to more than 21%. And in that same time period, severe obesity in that age group nearly doubled. More than 60% of my patients are overweight or obese. So while it does seem remarkable when we hear the information from the CDC, it is not surprising. Dr. Sarah Nozel with the American Academy of Family Physicians says many factors out of a child's control can contribute to obesity, like access to fresh fruits and veggies. So she says changing the obesity trend is something that needs to be comprehensive and done over time. That might mean that I meet with you regularly for more than a year to be working with the entire family about what's happening with food, what's happening with physical activity, um, really monitoring interventions and supporting the family in making those changes. Nozel says there are simple ways for parents and caregivers to help support a child's health. Remove all juice and soda from the home, which can add empty calories to their diet. Often families think they're making a good choice when they're um, drinking juice, but actually also that is just another form of liquid candy. Make healthy snacks more accessible. Nozel says to cut up fruits and veggies and set them up front in the fridge where it's easier to grab. And after dinner, do something active as a family. There's great evidence that it can be as effective as a diabetes medication to do physical activity following a meal. The doctor says parents and caregivers should also be careful not to stigmatize the actual number on the scale. Instead, she says to encourage youth to think about living healthier and promote that from a wellness standpoint that the whole family can move toward together. The EPA taking a harder stance on lead paint dust in homes and child care facilities. Under new rules, any amount of lead exposure is now considered hazardous, especially for children, where it can harm brain development. While lead paint is banned in new construction, it's still a threat in older buildings. The move is part of a broader push to eliminate lead exposure nationwide. A human case of West Nile virus has been identified in Eau Claire County. This is the county's first case of West Nile this year. On average, Wisconsin sees about 18 reported cases each year. About 80% of people who are infected don't get sick, but officials say it's always a good idea to prevent mosquito bites with bug spray and long sleeve clothing. Happening today, a chance to safely dispose of your unwanted medications. The Toma VA holding a drug take back day from 10 to 2 outside of building 400 at the VA. A pharmacist and police officer will be on hand to dispose properly and safely of any expired or unused medication.